Hey Sarah! Today's video is kind of something personal and I hope you don't mind me sharing it on the internet. Pretty much, um, it's just something that's been bothering me for a while. You know, um, we message each other like occasionally, a couple times a week, something like that. And, um, I don't remember what we were talking about, but there was just one time when you were just like, yeah, I'm so stupid, but I know for a fact that you're not stupid, so I wanted to make this video just to tell you that. Let's be honest here, you and I both know that you're not, like, really great at school. There's, like, certain skills that you need to have to kind of be good at school. It's just like you have to have a good memory and you have to have like a good attention span and everything. I think it was difficult for you because we were in honors then all the people, like lots of the people around you were like getting good grades and one of those people was me because I just happened to be good at school. I think you were too hard on yourself and you're like really comparing yourself to others when you really, there's no, no need, there's no need to compare yourself with those people. Being good at school doesn't necessarily mean you're smart. And being like, not as good at school doesn't mean you're not smart. And the reason why I say that is because I think there's many different kinds of being smart. Everyone can just be like smart at different things and talented in different things and even if you're not like getting straight A's in school or whatever that doesn't mean that you're any less of like a good person or something like that. Sarah you're just such an amazing like you're such an amazing friend and you're such an amazing person like you're a dancer like you do ballet I have so much respect for that. And you're also a trombone player, and you're like, you're writing your own stories now, that's so cool. Because for me, I've always been like, oh yeah, I'd love to be a good author and stuff, but I'm not, even though I have like ideas for writing books and things, I never really do it, but you're like, you're, you, you're not trying to be the best writer, but you're just writing because you want to write, and that's amazing. And most importantly, I think, is Sarah, you are so creative, just... You are. Sometimes it's like, to other people it seems like really random. The thing about that is, your mind is actually making more and like more complex and faster and deeper connections than their minds are making. Which in a way makes you the smarter one. Another thing I really admire about you is how positive you are. But even when you're tired, you're just like, you're still happy and you're smiling and you can laugh. That's just really amazing and you just like, people around you are happier because you're there. You don't worry about what other people will think of you, like, if you want to do it, you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna do it, there's no problem with it, and that's really amazing for me because I'm not able to do that. And you've supported me so much since I moved to the US and like, honestly, I don't I don't know, like, obviously I would have survived. I wouldn't be, like, like I am right now if you hadn't been there supporting me and, like, giving me advice. You also were the one who came up with starting this YouTube channel. And I didn't think of that. That was all you. And that's, like, it was such a great idea. And even though our channel is still like minusculely tiny and microscopic, that doesn't really matter because every Saturday I get to be like, okay, what kind of video do I want to make today? Sarah, you're not the most serious person out there and you don't get the best grades, but you're still an amazing person and you're not, you're not in any way stupid. And yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. What's one thing you're really good at and that you just love doing and are really passionate about? And what's one thing you've always wished you were really good at? And if it's possible, you should go do that second thing. Okay, I shall see you later. Bye! I just did the YouTube thing where you put your hand in front of a camera lens because I just felt like it.